Hello and welcome to another three minute introduction to marketing your business online from websitesinbusiness.co.uk. Today we're going to look at the so called free search results and how you influence those, normally with a process called search engine optimization. A bit of a fancy term for um, some of the techniques that we're going to talk about in brief. The free search is this area here that's labelled 1, 1 to 2 and carries on down the page to 10 as opposed to these bits that are labelled sponsored links um, which are paid for ads from Google AdWords. The way your results, the results are worked out from here is by Google looking at all these web pages that it's found, in this case 3,730,000 and considering which one it feels is the most relevant for the phrase that's been typed in. It does that by looking at three things. The actual text, the copy that's on your website, the programming code that's used to display that, that text, the links between pages on your site and from other sites linking to you. When it looks at the text for example, it's looking for a decent amount of text for it so it can decide what it is that you're page is talking about. So roughly 300 words, 500 words, somewhere around that ballpark. The code itself, the, the programming code that the web designer uses to um, display that text that you've given to him, that can have a great effect. You may have heard of people talking about search engine friendly websites, which basically means it's a website that is easier for the search engines to understand what it is that you, you are talking about. So is the text that you've given to the web designer, is it broken up by the code, the gibberish that um, a web designer would put in there to make it display? Um, or is it one continuous paragraph? Is it obvious? Is the uh, text been put into a graphic? In which case the search engine can't read the text on that graphic. So again it won't be indexed. Or is it in an animation, a bit of flash animation for example, something whizzing around on your screen, normally can't be read by Google. When it comes to the links, what's important there is the text that is used on the link. So here, for example, here's a link which says plain baseball t-shirts. That has a weight, if it was a normal link on a website, for Google to say that the page you're going to go to is about plain baseball t-shirts, and that would influence the ratings. One way to find out whether you have a search engine friendly site is to use a, a command on Google similar to this, you type in site, colon, and then your web address, www, whatever it is. In this case we put in www.smallfaces.com. Then have a look at the results that you get back. If you don't get any results back up here, it says no pages, that normally means your site hasn't been indexed, hasn't been found by Google, which would normally indicate you need to go and get some more links to your website from other places that are indexed, so that Google can then find you. The other thing you can do with looking at is what comes back in the, each of these individual um, links here. These are the titles on your page from the programming code which you may or may not notice um, in general usage but they're quite important to a search engine. If they're all the same, which is quite typical on some websites, um, it, it means you've had no basic C search engine optimization done for you. Equally all these little bits of descriptive text here as in, this, as in this case quite often are very similar, which again may, meet, may be a sign that you haven't had any search engine work done on your site. So that's it for now. I run over a little bit, an extra minute bonus for you there. Um, thank you for listening and I hope you visit my website www.websitesinbusiness.co.uk. Thank you very much.